Hi, I'm Chris Burns. And I'm Anna Marie Ash. Today, we're on the H Street Corridor, a neighborhood on the move. You may have heard about it, but we're going to show you some of the new places and introduce you to some of the people that make up the modern H Street community. Let's go check it out. Along the H Street Corridor, you'll find everything from historic theaters and churches to brand new grocery stores and capital bike share stations. H Street's thoroughfare has provided for the construction of streetcar tracks that will further improve the accessibility to this reinvigorated neighborhood. But bikers beware, those tracks are tricky and you can easily fall into their snare. New restaurants Smith Commons and Cuspa are just a few examples of the wide variety of cuisine on H Street. Known for its creativity and diversity, H Street has become known for its public art and unlikely combinations like Sticky Rice, a gourmet sushi restaurant that turns into a rockin' bar at night. Stop by on Thursdays for karaoke. There's a variety of clothing boutiques, coffee shops, and family-owned businesses that make this corridor a truly cosmopolitan neighborhood. Come on in, y'all. How y'all doing? My name is Dexter Riley. I've been a professional barber here at Hellman's Barbershop. I've been here 19 years. I'm stuck. I'm in love with A Street. We have a lot of new construction going on. Uh, condos that are new. Don't have to use a car and take a cab or a bus, walk it or bike it. Right beside us is now a new bicycle shop. So instead of going all the way on the other side of Capitol Hill, you have a new guy. He sells bikes as well, as well as fixing. Charming two to four level row houses constitute the majority of homes around H Street, but newly developed apartment complexes and condos have become a larger percentage of the available housing on the H Street corridor. Dangerously Delicious Pies is one of the more interesting eateries on the H Street corridor. Where else can you find a slice of crab quiche? And of course, they master the classic apple pie. In H Street, you've got the Atlas Theater, which ties it all together in this sort of historic Atlas Arts District. We have the 8th Street Day where everybody comes out and show their goods. It's phenomenal. You might find eight to 10,000 people. Despite the rainy weather, this year's 8th Street Festival was bigger than ever. Thousands gathered for a taste of the food and culture on 8th Street. These days, it's all about the contrast between the old and the new. Rapid change and growth has fans and detractors, but there is room for everybody on the 15 plus blocks that make up the 8th Street corridor. 8th Street is gorgeous. The people them here are very friendly. Real estate and apartments here will be going up real fast soon. H Street is an area that is changing immensely with the amount of businesses that are coming to the area and the amount of people that are moving to D.C. A lot of people work in D.C. and live on the outskirts, but now a lot of people are working in D.C., living in D.C., and playing in D.C. Just looking down the line five years, I think we have to rewind what H Street looked five years ago. Just then, I was DJing at the Rock and Roll Hotel when it first opened. It was hard to get a cab, and now there are Ubers, bars, people on the streets, lots of nightlife. And I think uh, that trend will continue to fill out the commercial quarter. The diversity is reflected in the, the people that make up the H Street corridor. You have long-standing families that have lived in the neighborhood for many years, and also newcomers as well. So now you've got a taste. But the best way to experience what life is like? It's to come down and experience it yourself. I'm Chris. And I'm Anna Marie. And this is H Street. See you around. <laughs>